Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of 3M PM, 3 Minutes with Pastor Michael, Theology Made Simple. Today's lesson, we are going to talk very briefly about sanctification because there is a lot to unpack with this one word. And I'm sure you've heard me or your parents or your pastors saying to be sanctified or the sanctification process, what does that even mean? And easily put, it is a setting apart. That's what it means. It means to be holy as Christ was holy. But that's like impossible and hard to understand. So let's break it down in three separate ways. Sanctifications to be set apart for the past. This is the moment of salvation for you. Very similar to regeneration or justification. You are set apart at your moment of faith in Jesus. You are sanctified completely in your relationship with God. Next, we go to the present or progressive part of your journey with God. We are set apart from the practice and the power of sin in your life. So no longer are you controlled by the sin within your heart, but through the power of the Holy Spirit working in you, you now have the ability to set apart from that sin's power in your life. In 1 John 3, 9, it says, Anybody born of God cannot make a practice of sinning, and he can't keep on sinning because he is born of God. The Spirit won't allow him to keep on going to the flesh. We now are sanctified progressively as we are becoming more and more like Jesus. Lastly, I want to talk about the future sanctification that will happen. Not only are we set apart and justified at moment of salvation, and not only are we set apart from the power of sin, but in the future we will be set apart from the presence of sin. This is what heaven will look like. There will be no more crying and no more brokenness and no more sin. It will have no dominion in the presence of the believer. So that's what sanctification is a setting apart, but it is also a devotion to. So it's not just don't do this stuff, but it's a motivation towards living for the things of God. That's sanctification. Hopefully that explains it very briefly. But until next week, God bless and take care.